but he's only getting started. George Ann Hawkins, a freshman at the University of Washington, is approaching the alley behind her sorority house. The aspiring broadcast journalist is just 60 feet from her door when she stops to help a stranger. Oh, damn it. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Just, could you, would you mind giving me a quick hand? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it's just hard to care of these things with just crutches, you know? <laughs> yeah. Would you, uh, my car's right over there. You mind helping me? No, not at all. Just right here? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm Ted, by the way. I'm Georgian. My friends call me George. Well, this is very kind of you, George. No problem. Thank you. He went as far as his Volkswagen bug carrying some of his books that he had dropped. That's the thing, that Ted Bundy's victims were good people. Upstanding college girls who were willing to be helpful. Where would you like these? Uh, in the passenger seat, please. Sure. <sighs> He'd often pledge him to get him to where he could take him somewhere. He could take out the front seat, and that way he could put a body where the seat would go. It was an unlikely vehicle to be used by a serial killer. But then again, Ted Bundy wasn't your average serial killer. But while Ted is driving out of town, George Ann wakes, incoherently speaking about her Spanish class. Spanish test tomorrow. Are you my tutor? Shut up. George Ann being conscious was not part of Ted's plan. Jan's body has never been found. He begins to reveal the depraved details of his horrific crimes. Ted sits down with Detective Robert Keppel and begins his confession. That's when I found out about what killers really knew. Starting with the murder of 18-year-old George Ann Hawkins. About halfway down the block, I encountered her and asked her to help me carry the briefcase. Basically, when I reached the car, what happened was I knocked her, knocked her unconscious with the crowbar. I handcuffed her and put her in the, the passenger side of the car and drove away. At this point, she was quite lucid, talking about things. It's, it's funny, it's, it's fun and funny, but it's odd the kinds of th things people say and, under those circumstances. She had a Spanish test the next day and she thought that I had taken her to help tutor me for a Spanish test. There was information that he talked about with regard to murder that only the killer would know. The Hawkins girl's head was severed and taken up the road about uh, 25 to 50 yards and buried in a location about 10 yards west of the road on a rocky hillside. So we went up there 15 years later and dug up the whole mountainside and didn't find the skull. Whether he actually did or not, I don't know. He lies, you know. <laughs> 